Halloween, Katie. You got a nice costume. You're late. I'm sitting alone in a cemetery and you... Daryl, are you a piece of candy? Yeah, cool, huh? I figure when people see me, I'll make the candy they give out look small. So they'll overcompensate by giving us more. Smart, huh? Brilliant. Where's Jimmy? Getting his little cousin, I think. His mom's making him take her out with us. <coughs> hey, Bert! Got enough room in your trunk for all the candy we'll get? I said, do you have... Let me roll down the window. Ah, that's better. Now I can hear you. Sweet ride. What are you supposed to be? I'm a baseball player in his SUV. It's loaded with all the options, including anti-lock brakes and an atomic-powered laser cannon. Right on. I'm a piece of candy. Where's Jimmy? Oh, it's creepy out here. Speak of the devil, and the devil shall appear. Cool. You're late. I know. I had to get the baby. Come on, Hannah. I'm coming, Jimmy. I'm coming. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hi, Daryl. Hi, Bert. Hi, Hi Hannah. Hannah. I like your fairy princess wings. Aren't they cool? I helped with the glitter. Really? My mom doesn't let me touch glitter. Not since that incident with the glue and the dog. My parents are giving out big candy bars for trick or treat. I brought one for everyone. Oh, great. Thank Hannah. you. That's cool of you. I'll put this in my glove compartment for later. I can get my own Halloween candy. I don't need any baby's help. Now, my creatures of the night. Sorry to interrupt, Jimmy, but I'm not really a creature of the night. I'm a baseball player. And I'm a piece of candy. Don't look at me. I'm a full-fledged creature of the night! Daryl, there is nothing scary about a piece of candy. Hey! You could be a mean piece of candy, like when you eat too much of it, and it finally gets you sick. That's good. I'm that last piece of candy that makes you sick. Now, Bert, baseball players play night games, right? That's true. So I'm like a half creature of the night. Okay. Come now, my creatures. And half creatures. And uh, sick makers. And Hannah, if you're about to say that you're a fairy princess and not a creature of the night either, I'm going to take you home right now. Now is our time. We become monsters surging forth and. <laughs> What the heck were you shining that dumb thing around for? Flashback? Flashback. Hit it! Are you anxious to get outside with all the monsters, Pumpkin? Monsters? Oh, she'll be fine. She'll be with Jimmy and his friends. They're very responsible. Especially that Katie. She's got a good head on her shoulders. I'm just glad she's going with Daryl. He's so big and strong, he can take care of any monsters. Monsters? Ding dong. Come on, honey. We both know Katie will look out for her. I trust that, Daryl, with his boyish good looks and sense of fair play. Good grief. Ding dong. Don't, Don't worry, worry, Pumpkin. pumpkin. Daryl will, will protect, protect you from, from the monsters. Monsters? Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong already! Oh, that must be Jimmy. I'll get it. Here you go, honey. Monsters can't stand flashlights. Hello, Jimmy. Oh, don't you look cute. Thanks. Happy Halloween. Hannah ready? Come on, Hannah. Don't worry, honey. If you get frightened, Jimmy's promised to take care of you. OK, Mommy. Bye. Hey, Jimmy, wait up. Yeah, that was a lot like it happened. Hey, I get to be in the next flashback. Hannah, shine your flashlight around and scare all the monsters, okay? I need to talk to these guys for a second. Okay, Jimmy. Oh, 
Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna ditch Hannah. <gasps> we all want lots of candy, don't we? Whoa. I don't know. So we'll scare her, and she'll run home, and then we can do what we want, okay? She is kind of slow. Yeah, we can go faster as a group of big kids. And get twice as much candy without her. Then we're agreed. Follow me, and I'll make sure we have the best Halloween yet. I didn't find any monsters. Good work, Hannah. You're not scared, are you? Maybe a little. You want to be a big kid, right? Right. Well, if you're a big kid, you won't be afraid to trick or treat the Spook House. Years ago on Halloween night, the people who lived here forgot to leave candy for the hungry monsters and got eaten for it. So now, every year, the new kid has to leave candy in the basement of the abandoned spook house to keep the monsters from eating every kid in the world. And guess who's the new kid? Watch. <laughs> the baby will turn and run. Your little cousin just went into the spook house. I guess we'll just have to scare her ourselves. Follow my lead. <gasps> Hannah, look! The owner's ghost over there! <laughs> Leave your candy! It's your only home! I think I hear a skeleton rapping in the closet! <laughs> you hear that witch laughing? <laughs> For the werewolf howl? <laughs> Get to the basement and throw some candy down there. Okay, Jimmy. We'll be right behind you. Jimmy? Katie? Anyone? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Because you needed me. Now, what were you so scared of that it made you cry? Monsters. Monsters? Boy, oh boy, are you in luck. Some of my best friends are monsters. Come on, I'll take you over to my realm in the front side and introduce you. Let's go!
What do you think? Homey. Very homey. <laughs> oh, I wish I could have seen her face when she turned around and we were gone. <laughs> Priceless! <laughs> You've been filling her head full of stories all night, Jimmy. She was so easy to scare. <laughs> we'll wait right here for her. She'll come out screaming any second. <laughs> Can I help? Mm. <sighs> We've got to find Scully. He said he'd be here by now. Scully? Uh, a monster! That's no monster. It's just my broommate. Oh, my scary godmother. <laughs> Sorry to be so late, but I just had to get these old bones bleached for the party. You look 300 years younger. Party? Sure, our Halloween party. Me and my roommates throw one every year. I like parties. Oh, it is the spookiest Phantom Fest in the whole realm. Everyone will be there. It's practically a who's boo of monsters. And incidentally, who are you? Scully, I would like you to meet my new friend, Hannah. Hannah, this is Mr. Pettibone. He's our official skeleton in the closet. Well, ha, it's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Hannah. <laughs> Does everyone have a skeleton in their closet? Almost everyone, little miss. I work in the closets of all the old houses, keeping their secrets and just rattling around. But when it comes to Halloween night, I love nothing more than to roll the bones at a good party. You are staying for the party, aren't you? Yes. Oh, well, good. I don't know. Scary Godmother said that there will be monsters at the party, and I'm scared of monsters. Oh, oh my. You just haven't met enough good ones yet. You see, Hannah, Monsters are a lot like spiders. Some are real nice, and some are not so nice. But all of them are creepy and crawly. Was that supposed to help? Yes. Do you think it worked? Yes. And now, a little atmosphere. <laughs> Wasting our precious trick-or-treating time. At least Daryl and I were smart enough to get some trick-or-treating in on the way here. You know, if you pick first, then you won't need to trade with me all the time. I like trading with you, Daryl. I never know what I want until you pick it out first. Fine. So... Ooh, I'll trade you two caramels for three baby chocolate bars. Okay. Ooh, and, and this little bag of gumdrops for this sugar cluster. Okay. Oh, and this shoeless Joe for three kisses. Okay. Wait, I don't have any kisses. Oh. Break a breaker. We've lost contact with Katie and Daryl. Please advise Houston, over. Bert, nobody puts CBs in SUVs these days. Uh, you just left your baby cousin to the mercy of killer monsters on Halloween night? And you're concerned with the additions and upgrades in my cardboard SUV? Eh, good point. Here's the rest of the food. Ha, our guests will be here any minute. 
How do I look? Mmm, frightful. You're too kind. Ah, a monster! Only to his mother. It's just Harry. Hi, Harry, come on in. Thank you, scary godmother. I don't mind if I do. Mmm, where are those wonderful smells emanating from? The goody plate, I believe. You won't mind if I just sample the delicacies, do you? Ow! No! Down, boy! Last year, you devastated the entire buffet before the other guests even arrived. How dare you, sir? I come to a party to enjoy the company of good... Now, sit! Good boy, shake! Now, roll over. Oh, please. Roll over. I will not degrade myself. Over? <laughs> Good boy. Here. Now, no more until everyone else shows up. And you'll be lucky to get that. Oh, you'll be lucky if I don't bury your femur in the backyard, you scoundrel. Harry, I, I want you to meet my new friend. Hmm? But it, it can't be. It can't be what? Oh, don't be coy, my dear. I'm really a huge fan. You know who she is? Of course. It's Ophelia St. Tata, who played the Princess of Ectoplasmania in episode 42 of the Spectral Six. She's practically in the same costume as well. What a priceless in-joke for those of us who are long-time spectators. Like myself, of course. Hors d'oeuvre, Miss Tata. <laughs> <gasps> it's not for me, it's for Miss Tata. Do you mind if I call you Ophelia? I don't mind, but it's not my name. Harry, this is not Ophelia oh, Saint. I am such a huge fan of the show. I must know every single line from every single episode. I remember when our fair hair... Here's a treat that's fun to make and helps you get a word in edgewise. Take two of your favorite crackers, spread one with jam, one with peanut butter, smoosh them together, and jam them into the mouth of the chattering werewolf. Voila! Now, Harry, this is my new friend, Hannah Marie, not Ophelia St. What have you who played Madame Lord High Muckety Molasses from your favorite Scullivision show. Scully! Tease him. I get it. Ah, oh, silence. Music to my cranium. Oh, oh now jelly rolls should be done. Ta ta. Ah! Hello, Count Max, Ruby, Orson. Good, Good evening, evening, scary gold mother. I know it's intimidating being around royalty, but don't worry. We should offer them some refreshments, don't you think? Yeah, that's probably good manners when you're dealing with kings and queens. Are you a chocolate-covered fly? Mmm, do not mind if I do. Not for me, darling. I'm watching my figure. Mmm, <clears throat> dark chocolate. Shall we move to the other room? Lovely. Delightful. Okay. Why are they just standing there? Oh no, that's right. Vampires can't enter a house unless you invite them in. Really? That's very polite. Oh yes. I'm thrilled to have the king and queen of the night grace my humble home. The pleasure is ours. The place looks great. Help yourselves to the food. Scary <laughs> godmother! Oh no, this is my friend, Hannah Marie. Oh. <laughs> Hannah, this is Count Max, his wife Ruby, and their son Orson. Hi. Hi. Are you a real vampire? Of course I'm a real vampire. Are you a real human? Yeah, but you're just a kid. So are you. Do you go to school? Sure, night school. Don't you go to school? I go to school. Sacred Heart. Mmm, sounds tasty. But you go during the day. So? How can you see with all that sunlight in your eyes? <laughs> I can't see in the dark. You can't? It's his first real human. Cute. Do you sleep in a coffin? Sure, I've slept in my own coffin since I was three. 
You mean you still share a coffin with your parents? No! I mean, yes. I mean, I don't sleep in a coffin at all. You're homeless? <laughs> Orson, honey, Hen is not from around here. Why don't the two of you fly off and enjoy the party? Okay. Can't you fly with those wings? Nuh-uh. Race it to the kitchen, then. No, no, no running. You... <laughs> I can talk again! Be still, my beating ribcage. Quiet, Phyllis Tang. Hello, Max. Good evening, Harry. It is... Nice to see you. Nice to be seen. Oh, Miss Ruby, delightful to see you, my dear. So, Max, you run in a celebrity crowd. Do you think you'll be seeing Miss Crystal? Um, if you do, uh, perhaps uh, an autograph? Harry? Yes, Max? Look deeply into my eyes. Okay, looking now. Cease your chattering and sleep. Sleep? On an empty stomach? But I... That is better. Some peace and quiet. I think. Oh, I like the way you think, Count Max. Can I get you a drink? Thank you. Bloody Mary. Hold the Mary. Ah, 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 ah. Hey, hey, hey! You start the party without me? Forbid! It wouldn't be a party without you here, Bugaboo! Come on up! Let's party! It's okay! It's okay, Hannah! Take a deep breath! If I start scaring kids after hours, I'm gonna put in for overtime! Now calm down, kid. Calm down. Oh, help me, help me, Mother. What? I'm not doing nothing. Bugaboo, you're scaring her worse. What are you, a coal miner? But my dad said... Uh, Hannah, flashlights only work on monsters that hide in your closet. Y yeah, and uh, Bugaboo is a monster that hides under your bed. Nice cover. I don't care what kind of monster he is. Keep him away from me. He's big and mean and scary looking. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the party. Uh, maybe I should go. Oh. oh. Wait, you don't have to go. No, no, I understand. It comes with the job. Oh, he's such a good guy. That cracks me up. Maybe you're not that mean after all. Well, to tell you the truth, monsters aren't mean. Big and scary, yeah, but not mean. Big and scary is right. Oh, you're just trying to butter me up. Does that mean you'll stay? You got it. After all, <laughs> it is my house. All right, then. Last party! Door is ajar. 
Door is a jar. Door is a jar. Will you stop that? Please fasten your safety belts. Uh, why isn't she screaming yet? <laughs> What are we going to do? We've practically missed Halloween. This isn't funny anymore. We've got to go in and get Hannah. She's got to be scared to death by now. Look, I'm the leader of this group, and I say we wait. Who made you leader? What do you mean? Of course I'm the leader. That's not fair. We didn't even vote. You want to vote? Fine, we'll vote. Who wants me for leader? Okay. Who wants Bert for leader? Daryl? Katie? That's one vote for everyone. I demand a recount! That's still one vote for everyone. Recount! That's one vote for everyone. Recount! <laughs> what are you doing? Nobody has changed their vote. I just want to see how long he'll keep this up. Oh. Recount! That's one vote for everyone. Recount! Will you two stop it? Ugh. We'll do rock, paper, scissors. Ready? Go! Uh, uh, uh. All rock, no winner. Uh, uh, uh. All rock, no winner. Uh, uh, uh. All rock, no winner. Look, wise guys, nobody is gonna win if we all do rock. Is that clear? Ready? Go! Uh. Ha! Rock beats scissors, scissors, scissors! I'm still the leader, and I rule no more voting. So what now? Stick it in park and wait. Silly. I was just kidding. I know. I'm not afraid of you. Peek a boo! <laughs> you should be. Someday I'll be king of the night. Someday I'll be movie star princess veterinarian astronaut ballerina. With a pony. Cool. I love your dress, Ruby. This old thing. I was practically buried in it. Hmm. <laughs> New fangled fashions. I remember when a vampire queen used to look like a queen. Me too. Oh, Max, it's just a modern little frog. Too modern and too little for my tastes. You can practically see her ankles. Don't freak out, Max. After all, you can see my ankles. Mine too. I think she looks nice. Oh, ravishing, yes. Beautiful, of course. But her ankles, really. One century, it is corsets and bustles, and the next thing you know, it's platforms and miniskirts. Exactly. <laughs> oh, so, as I was saying, do snacks. Oh. Dancing always makes me peckish. What's the matter, my love? You are usually the death of the party. 
and I do not want to talk about it. Oh, tell me, my alabaster Romeo, why are you so out of sorts? Yeah, it is just... What, Maxi? I don't want any bad blood between us. I am simply no good at parties. Look at the others, conversing with ease. I feel out of touch, and then I get self-conscious. But these are our friends. They like you just the way you are. 500 years their senior. I know. I just have to remind myself every now and again that it is the 20th century now. The 21st century, my precious. Great! Now my watch is stopped as well. I enjoy you, Maxi. But if you want to break the ice, start with a joke. A joke? I think I will try. But first... Ooh, no. Gross, my parents are necking again. Maybe there's something I can eat on the snack table. Ugh. Bad dog! Bad dog! Off get town! Ah! All of my precious work! My tarantula egg rolls! My gorgonzola and hoppy's egg quiche! My fleas ear casserole! Oh god! Thank goodness. You don't eat quiche? No, I meant the other stuff. Oh, Gorgonzola. Wah. <whistles> Roommate huddle! Now what? The party's just starting and we're out of food. Well, I could whip up some werewolf kebabs. <laughs> Seriously? What are we going to do? We have to serve something. I'm getting hungry. I'm starvulating. I'm going to fade away to nothing if I don't eat something soon. Pizza! Pizza? Pizza! Pizza! I'll eat pizza! Me too! Pizza! Pizza would be a nice change. Pizza? Huh. Back in my day, we never thought of putting cheese and sauce and... Uh, pizza is a groovy idea? <laughs> groovy? I know, they're so embarrassing, I could just live. I'll order. They know the sound of my voice at Diablo Brothers. Now, who wants garlic? What are you, a maniac? Are you trying to poison my family? We're all a little allergic to garlic, Harry. Get the Belfry Mano Special. Half O positive, half AB negative. Make sure there's extra cheese. Yeah! yeah. Extra it's cheese and olives! Yeah! yeah. You? You eat pizza with cheese and olives? Yeah, I like olives, so? I thought monsters ate little girls. Oh, that's silly. Little girls make the crust all soggy. Ha ha ha! Just joking, kid. It's my job to scare kids, not eat them. If I went around eating all the clients, I'd be out of work. Who told you that bunch of nonsense? My cousin Jimmy. Ahem! <clears throat> Well, I'm sure this Jimmy slash monster discussion is imperative to the plot. Can we get back to something that is really important? Like ordering pizza? Harry, we haven't forgotten who inhaled the buffet. Touché. Point well taken. Socially awkward pause. I'll phone this in. left Hannah in the spook house. We are gonna be in so much trouble, Jimmy. Can't believe we left Hannah in the spook house. What if she never comes out? I can't believe we left Hannah in the spook house. <laughs> Will you stop it? We did what we had to do, right? Then where is she? She should have come screaming out of there ages ago. Maybe the monsters got her. There's no monsters. I just made that up to scare the baby. Duh. Yeah, and if they got her, then maybe they didn't get enough candy, and maybe the monsters are going to burst out of there any second and eat every kid in the whole world! What are you talking about? There's no monsters! Oh my gosh, we've got to save Hannah from the monsters! You save Hannah! I'm driving my SUV out of here before the monsters show up! Ah, monsters! I can't you can't be can't 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 too young to die! Have you all gone crazy? Little babies believe in monsters, okay? We don't. 
We're the big kids, right? There's no such thing as monsters. Brothers Pizza, you buy, we fly. Uh, here's your order, scary godmother. That'll be $197. Tip not included. $200 in pizza? Sure. 12 extra larges at 16 bucks each. <laughs> of course, you could owe son for it. Uh, no. Sorry. My soul is worth more than 12 pizzas. You got any money? No, I left it in my other pelvis. Oh, ha, ha, very funny. Twelve pizzas, Harry? Naturally, I wanted to be considerate of everyone's choices. <laughs> oh, let's see if Bugaboo has any money stuck to him from being under the beds all day. All right. insulted my roommate, made a mess of my house, and stuck me for 12 pizzas. Harry, sometimes you are insensitive, boorish, and you just have plain lousy table manners. No, oh, please, I'll do anything. I know you will, Harry. You'll help me in the pumpkin patch, you'll knit spider webs, clean the tombs. Oh, yes, you'll probably have tonight paid off by Halloween next year. Enjoy your pizza. <laughs> It's turned to ashes in my mouth. Oh, that's mine, then. I had half ashes, half green peppers. Ah, oh, this is great. We both like the same kind of pizza. Nothing better than cheese and olives. Yum, mine's starting to cool off. That's when it gets nice and clotty. Wanna try? Uh, 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 um, well, we've been eating pizza with garlic. And if our teeth touched your pizza, and then you ate it. Oh, yeah, your allergy. Whoa, thanks. I wasn't thinking. <gasps> so other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how did you enjoy the show? Well, anyway, I should probably be getting home. I almost forgot what I came here for. I'm sorry I was scared of you, Bugaboo. Here. Well, aren't you sweet? How did you know monsters like candy? My cousin Jimmy told me. He said that every year a new kid has to leave candy for the monsters. Otherwise, the monsters will come and eat every one of us. <laughs> Anna, do you think any of us would eat you? No, no, not anymore. But Jimmy said... Jimmy? Wait a minute. Is this that same Jimmy that said I like to gobble up little girls? Then it's the same Jimmy that's on my route. I scare him silly every other Thursday. Big kids get scared? Oh, yeah. Since I'm under kids' beds, I know all the things they're afraid of. It's my job. Hannah, where is Jimmy now? Waiting for me, I guess. Well, <laughs> his wait is just about over. I think it's time we taught those big kids a lesson. Here's the plan. Jimmy, we're going to get in so much trouble, seriously. Okay, I have a plan. As leader, I order you guys to go in there and bring out the baby. You're the leader. You go in there and bring out the baby. Okay, we'll all go. No way. Monsters! I told you, there's no... <sighs> Fine, I'll go. I'm going with Jimmy. And I'm going too. I'll be waiting for you right here. Right here, alone, 
in the dark? We better get going. <laughs> Who the heck are you? What are you doing here? I'm Orson. I'm a vampire. I'm Jimmy. I'm the devil. Happy Halloween. Hey, have you seen a little kid dressed like a dumb fairy princess, probably bawling her eyes out like a big baby? Fairy wings? Gold crown? Pink dress? Yeah! yeah. Nope. Aww. Oh, uh, this is Daryl. He's a piece of candy. Katie, she's a cat. And Bert, he's... Uh, uh, He's a baseball player driving his SUV. Nice laser cannon, by the way. See? The vampire kid knows what I'm supposed to be. Aw, he ain't no vampire. He's just another dorky kid someone else dared to go into the spook house. Am I right? <laughs> just for the record, I think you're a real vampire. Hey, cut it out! This kid's not a real vampire. I'm gonna tell my dad that you said I'm not a real vampire. Tell him! Tell your mom, too! Mom! Barbie. Stop me if you've heard this one. Four naughty kids walk into a spook house. And? What then? And we eat them, of course. Oh, now you'll tell the funny joke. <laughs> click, click, click. Yo, Baker Ralph, yo, we ate. Gonna serve you more kids on a plate. Yes, howl, howl, aren't I frightful? Rend, tear, fold, mutilate. <gasps> Candy! <laughs> Bread of cowboy! Yeah. Hurry, my minions! Capture them before they reach the safety of the basement! <laughs> We're safe. We made it. We should probably stay here until the sun comes up. <laughs> Your cousin probably got eaten. That'll be a tough one to explain to her folks. Good thing Jimmy's the leader. He'll have to do it. Shut up. Daryl, I can't think with you breathing right down my neck. Um, Jimmy? I'm over here. Boo. <laughs> oh, not the light of a flashlight. Oh, my eyes! My eyes! Follow me! Hannah! Save me, Hannah! Goodness, what a harsh light. Gak, I expire. Not the light of a little lamp! I cannot stand it! Nor can I! I wither! I burn! We are out! Oh! that light radiates into my countenance. It is too much for me in my pithy soul. The light burns. It burns worse than the worst burn ever. Oh, mercy me. Is this the end of poor Harry? It seems so. Goodbye, mother. I can see a long tunnel with a bright light. I move towards the light. No, oh, all right. I die. I flail. Then I die. Thank you, everybody. Bye, Hannah. Bye, Orson. Here, Hannah. Will I ever see you again? Anytime you want to come back to the Fright Side for a visit, just use this key in any door. 
We'll see you soon. Thanks, Scary Godmother. Hannah, we need you! Bring your flashlight! Hannah! Hannah! <laughs> Would you mind holding my hand? Oh, just in case, sir. Uh, you get scared, that is. Not at all, Jimmy. Not at all. I'd like to do it one more time, though. Sure, sure, sure. Sure. I think I can do it. Sure. I love it. Sure. Sure. I can do it better. Any pizza left? What? No, it's hungry work. I built up quite an appetite. It's not easy scaring people, you know. Oh, no, 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 please don't come any closer. Bugaboo, bugaboo, I'll fight you.